Welcome to Film and Page. I'm Dominic. This is another episode of Road to Dune. So with the news last week of uh, Denis Villeneuve's Dune moving to HBO Max, along with the rest of Warner Brothers' slate of films for 2021, uh, so the what what was what I talked about last week, if you didn't know about that or you didn't hear the news, uh, Warner Brothers announced that its slate of 2021 movies will be going straight to HBO Max for 31 days in the United States, if you're subscribed to HBO Max within the United States. Uh, so you'll be able to have the choice. You can either go to the theater and see these movies if you live in the U.S. or uh, watch it on HBO Max. But now it seems this is starting to stir up some trouble and there's some drama getting involved in the story, which is uh, this drama is actually, I find it more interesting than some of the movies they have going to HBO Max. <laughs> so we'll get into it. So this article is from Indie Wire. Legendary set to challenge Warner Brothers' move of Dune and Godzilla to HBO Max. Legendary Entertainment is reportedly set to challenge Warner Brothers over the latter's decision to send Denis Villeneuve's Dune and Adam Wingard's Godzilla vs. Kong to HBO Max on the same day they are set for theatrical releases. According to Deadline, Legendary has or will send legal letters to Warner Brothers as soon as today. IndieWire has reached out to Legendary for further comment. Warner Brothers announced last week its entire 2021 film slate would adopt the Wonder Woman 1984 release strategy by opening in theaters and HBO Max at the same time. All films will be available to stream for their first 31 days of release. Sources told Deadline that executives at Legendary Entertainment found out about Dune and Godzilla vs. Kong moving to a hybrid theatrical HBO Max release only 30 minutes before Warner Brothers went public with the announcement. As reported earlier this month, Legendary allegedly had Netflix lined up to purchase Godzilla vs. Kong for around $250 million, but Warner Brothers' parent company, Warner Media, blocked the decision. Deadline adds that Legendary Entertainment and its partners provided 75% of the $165 million or so net budget of Dune and put up a similar amount of the funding on the Godzilla vs. Kong film. The issue Legendary executives are now worried about is whether or not moving these films to streaming will tarnish the long-term viability of the franchises. Wingard's Godzilla vs. Kong is the fourth entry in Legendary's MonsterVerse following Godzilla, Kong, Skull Island, and Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Villeneuve's Dune, meanwhile, is intended to kick off a series of film and television series rooted within the universe created by Herbert's six novels. Villeneuve only agreed to direct Warner Brothers and Legendary's Dune adaptation because they were letting him split the novel into two films. No details about a second Villeneuve Dune movie has yet to be revealed. Godzilla vs. Kong is currently scheduled for release in theaters and on HBO Max on May 21st, 2021. Dune is set to follow with a hybrid opening on October 1st, 2021. Villeneuve's science fiction epic was originally scheduled to open in theaters nationwide on December 18th, 2020, but the current situation pushed back the project into 2021. Wow, that is interesting news. I don't know really what to make of it. Uh, Now, I'm surprised that Legendary had absolutely no say in any of this and seemed to not know that Warner Brothers was going to pull this. Or at the very least, you think they would have suspected Warner Brothers might do something like this after seeing what they did with Wonder Woman 1984. Now, whether it's going to tarnish or diminish the viability of the movies, I don't know. Honestly, for me, when it comes to Dune, it won't. But uh, I guess streaming is probably still one of those things that is people are still kind of skeptical on, maybe. Uh, maybe they see it, well, people will think of this as like straight to video. Like when a movie goes straight to video, usually... You know, it's a bad sign that it's not going to be very good or it's going to be lower budget. Maybe that's how people would perceive this. But I don't think that's, I mean, maybe that's how they're thinking. I don't know. But I I don't think that would be a correct assumption because just because this is a unique situation we're in. 
if there was nothing going on, if we weren't in the current situation that we're in and they wanted to do this, well, I'll just dump it on Netflix or let's just dump it on HBO Max. Then that's different because that's like kind of like the new straight to video is just making a movie and sending it straight to Netflix or HBO Max or Disney Plus or whatever. Because that was always the bad sign when, a, you know, you get a theatrical release of a movie and then the sequel would be straight to video. You knew that sequel wasn't going to be nowhere near as good as the theatrical release. And I also read in another article, but I can't remember what article it was because I browsed through a few different ones today when it came to this story. But uh, apparently, Denny Villeneuve himself is not really happy with the decision to have Dune go straight to HBO Max at the same time that it's released in theaters. And uh, now this is only going to be, as far as my understanding, it's only going to be within the U.S. Uh, so everywhere else, it's just going to be released in theaters like normal. Um... But it's it's an interesting thing. It's weird that they didn't let Legendary know about this. And now, if there is some kind of legal entanglement, this is my main concern with this, if they serve legal notices, or if it escalates that far, that Legendary has to start suing Warner Media to block these movies from going to uh, HBO Max, what does that mean for the second Dune film? Uh, because this film is only half of the story that they have made. We still have to have the other one. Uh, w does this put that movie in any kind of jeopardy that they're going to have this legal battle over? Um, so that's what I'm kind of worried about what might spin out of this. But um, hopefully it doesn't go that far. Hopefully they can come to some kind of agreement. And I find it really odd that Warner Brothers wouldn't consult with them, especially if these if Legendary put up 75% of the financing for these movies. That's a lot. That's way over. That's quite a bit over half. That's almost the whole thing. Uh, they should have they should have been called up right away, consulted right away, and asked, you know, what what do you think of this idea of what we're gonna do here? So I don't know, it's all crazy stuff, and it's kind of interesting that this was even made public. So this is a story I'm going to have to watch. I'm going to have to see where this leads and where it goes and what the follow is going to be from it. But I hope the follow is that their agreement they have to make the second Doom movie completely breaks apart and we don't get it. Just seems like everything is working against this movie, man. It's almost like this was never meant to be made. Like you got the current situation that happened around that happened, so it didn't release on time. Uh, now there's on top of worrying if it will even perform well enough for general audiences to get a second one. Now there's this legal entanglement that might jeopardize it, who knows, if they don't get it straightened out. So see what happens going forward. So that's everything I got to say in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section, and I will see you at the next one. I'd like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you all in helping this channel grow. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded.